and welcome to our Hapei Quadrilla class. Have you learned more about our Quadrilla basic set after our previous classes? I hope you have. Well, today we are going to upgrade our challenge. For this level, we are going to build four floors with two secret blocks, which may seem a little tough for you. But don't worry about it, we will build it together. So without further ado, let's give it a try. First of all, we are going to look at the challenge card and get every block we need for this challenge. So here we go, we are going to need three blue blocks, three of them, two turquoise blocks, an orange block, a natural block, two green ones, and a yellow block. And the most important, we're going to have the red seesaw. Before we start building, we should take a closer look at the seesaw block settings. As you can see, zero is placed on the upper side and the number one is placed on the bottom. Now I'm going to give you a short time to do your build and we will be right back. Here is our build. I hope you are ready too. Now let's analyze the challenge card, shall we? According to the card, the starting colors of the marbles are red, blue and yellow, while the arrival colors turn to be blue, red and yellow. Thinking time, can you tell me which color of the marble keeps the same order as the beginning? Yes, it's the yellow marble, it doesn't change its sequence. As we can see, the yellow marble is the last one to be launched and also the last one to arrive, which means its sequence remains the same from the beginning to the end. In this way, we don't need to think about the yellow marble. Now let's just focus on how to exchange the color of the red marble and the blue marble. Is it similar to the challenge that we took the last class? We basically just need to make the red marble take a longer route than the blue one. And then the sequence of these two colors can be switched. Now let's think about the possible journey of the marbles according to the initial blocks. Launch the marbles one by one. First is the red marble. The marble rolls out through the yellow block and into the red seesaw block exiting at zero before traveling into the first secret block and through the bottom exit of the blue block. Ok, let's think about how many possible paths the first secret block can have in this case. Try to think about it. Are there only two paths? The first path has a rightward exit and the second one has a bottom exit connecting the marble to the natural block on the next level. Well, we can then see that there is a straight path in the natural block connecting it to the green block on the next level. So if the red marble rolls through the second path, it can be the first one to reach the exit. In this way, the first secret block only needs one right exit. Now, let's find out which block can make this idea happen. Great, it's the yellow block. Now, time for the blue marble. How can we make the blue marble reach the exit first? As we can see, the blue marble goes in the yellow block and out of the red seesaw through the number 1 exit. Then it goes through the blue block and into the second secret block. In this case, does the second secret block also have two possible pathways? One exit on the left side and the other at the bottom, right? Now let me ask you a little question. What is the shortest distance between two points? Is it a straight line? Yes, so we just need to make the blue marble pass a straight route. The blue marble should go through the secret block into the blue block on the next level. That is the shortest route. Therefore, the second secret block just needs to have a straight path. 
Let's try the orange block first. We find that the blue marble rolls through the shortest route, reaching the final first as we expected. When the red marble reaches the orange block, however, it can't roll into it since the orange block only has one straight path without any side exits. So now we find that the second block should also have a side exit to enable the red marble to pass through. So which block do you think is suitable? How about the natural block? Now that we have all the secret blocks ready, let's try to do the final launch. We did it! Congratulations! In the next class, we will try challenge number 21. And I will leave the challenges 16 to 20 for you to do as assignments in your own time. Happy rolling guys and see you in the next class. Bye bye!